What's up guys, welcome to Dime's Confession Booth. This is where all my viewers will tell me their confessions and they're all confidential, I do not know who sent them, and our viewers who are watching this will not know who sent them either. So, let's get into it, yeah? So, these are, we have 15 responses so far, I'll put a link in the uh, description and in the comments so you can go ahead and uh, put in your confession. As I said, look at these, all of these are confidential. I have not read any of them, so let's get into it, yeah? We're probably gonna do maybe Maybe all 15, if possible. Uh, it depends on how much time we have. So let's get in with the first uh, confession, yeah? A girl that was the most attractive asked me for my Snapchat. So I told her I had a girlfriend. That is some horrible riz, my guy. That is bad. That is bad. You fumble. You fumbled the bag. You fumbled the bag, bro. If if a baddie if a baddie asks you for your Snapchat, you know exactly what's about to happen, and you just gonna do that? You weird. One day, my dad and I were home. We just came back from a trip, and we were tired. He told me to go close the window curtains, but I didn't do that. That was my downfall. Okay. My dad went out to smoke a cigarette on the porch. Now this porch, if you lean enough, you can see inside. When he went outside, I was so... I'm gonna skip that word. I had to get one off if you get what I'm saying. Long story short, he saw me beating it through the window and said, why? <laughs> nah, that's funny, bro. <laughs> nah, that's funny, bro. Nah, you had no self-control, bro. What? What? Bro. First of all, why would you do it if... Why would you do that, bro? If you're watching this, whoever sent this in, why in the world would you do that? And in an area where it is easy for somebody to look in, why would you do that? Are you dumb? Are you dumb? I want a competition at lunch to see who can eat an entire napkin the fastest. It's not bad. I mean, shoot, that's 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 an accomplishment. If you you want it too, so you are the fastest napkin eater in the world. Fourth one. I was deeply invested into an online game, which will remain unnamed. Okay. I got tired of not having the good characters because they cost money, which as, 11, which as a, an 11 year old, I had none. So I took my mom's debit card and put her info in. Being the tactical genius I am, I slowly spent the money as to not raise suspicion. I ended up sp spending $600 in, game, in the game in over a month and a half before she noticed. I know exactly who sent this. Just by the way you said, being the tactical genius, I know exactly who said that. You know what I'm saying? You should. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, man. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Man, I bet it, I bet it was Fortnite too. I bet it was Fortnite 11. No, Fortnite wouldn't have came out when we were 11, would it? Nah, but whatever game this was, whatever, Roblox, whatever, bro, you, you, should, you ought to be ashamed of yourself, boy. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Once when I was... Eight, my brother tied me to a tree for three hours. I was untied because my grandma found me in the backyard. Hey, bro. Okay, how old is your brother? How old is your brother? And you were eight at this time and he tied you. Nah, he gotta be white. I I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The person who sent this confession, it has to be white. Cause I ain't know nobody who's gonna tie nobody to a tree, bro. If you see what I'm, you know what I'm saying? I don't know nobody who's going to tie nobody to no tree, bro. Uh, all right. Next one. When I went to surprise my friend for her birthday last year, I walked into a room while she was hooking up with a guy that was not her boyfriend. Ooh. Yikes. Now, were you a W or L friend? Being W friend telling her boyfriend or L friend not telling her boyfriend. Who knows? We might never know because we don't know who sent these in, which is the good thing about it because it's the mystery behind it. And that's why you guys should put more stuff in here because 15 responses isn't enough for me. I need to see 30, 40, 50, 60, you know what I'm saying? When I was little, I was sneak into the kitchen and open the fridge and eat people's food like by taking little bites of it and then put their food back and act like I never did it. And I did that for like three years and no one noticed and I never got caught. That's not even crazy, bro. That's like literally everybody's done that. Some of this stuff here, nobody's ever done in their life. You feel me? Some of the stuff here, nobody's ever done in their life. To be honest with you, that's not even crazy, bro. 
and I explicitly said when I put this out on Discord, uh, my Instagram, go follow my Instagram, link in the description, my Snapchat, whatever, give me your craziest ones, and you're going to give me a, a mediocre one like this? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I know exactly who put this in, too. I bet I know exactly who did it. You know what I'm saying? Just by the way you put the a little emoji at the end, I know exactly. I know exactly who did that. One time I pushed my brother down off the chair and he fell and busted his tooth out and I told them that he did it on himself. <laughs> nah, nah, L, 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 L sibling, bro. L sibling, L sibling. This gonna sound bad, but I accidentally sat on a garden hose, right? And that thing was on spraying everywhere, bro. And to be honest, I really didn't mind it. That's the thing I had. Niagara Falls flowing out of me, you know, but other than that, it was chill. What is wrong with you? What? You... What, is, what is wrong with you? Do you need help? What is wrong with you? I just messed up my mood, bro. I feel like ending the video right here. But I still got a few more to go. Let's so let's get them done. All right. Next confession, swag. That's very swag, Mr. Link. Uh, I have a nail fetish. Okay, that's an inside joke. Nobody will ever get that. Except me and that person and other people associated in our circle. One time I put my sister's turtle outside and it crawled away and she cried for the next day. Don't feel bad though, he bit me. Hey, understandable, you know. Pets can get annoying, so I see why you would do something like that. I applaud you. <sighs> Urinated in my pants several times in first grade because I was too scared to ask the teacher to go to the bathroom. Hard floor too. You, you're a menace. Nah, this person right here probably has a skin head right now. Skin head, baggy jeans, hoodie. He, uh, he has threat. He's a threat. I promise you, the person that wrote this has a skinhead, has a hoodie, baggy jeans, Asics tennis shoes, all right? And his name is probably Thomas. No offense to my, to my homie Thomas that I know in real life. I'm just saying, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? But why were you scared to ask the teacher anyway? Just, just literally raise your hand. Teacher, can I go ahead and go to the bathroom? That's all you have to say, bro. What what is wrong? You know what? Let's go. Let's go to the next one. All right. This is the second to last one, and I'll be ending off the video. So, kind of feel like a different person every day, and feel trapped no matter what I do. I also don't feel capable of loving someone the right way, and I feel like no one's ever gonna love me correctly. I just feel heavy all the time. Uh, do you need to talk? I mean, I know whoever sent this in knows who i am i don't know if they went through the discord link through my instagram or through my snapchat but if you're somehow seeing this video contact me bro talk to me man you know what i'm saying because it it, it it legit looks like you're going through something man it legit looks like you're going through something and, uh uh if you're somehow watching this video i really want you to um really reach out to me man message me my DMs are always open, uh, whatever, comment on my videos, whatever, man, just, just text me, whatever, because it's, it obviously seems like you're going through something, and, uh, I really hope you get through what you're doing, what you're going through right now, um, then let's end this off with a bang, yeah, so this is last one, when I was like 11, there was this autistic girl next door, and we used to play soccer, most of the time, her parents wasn't there, so we would just go in the house and watch TV. This one day out of nowhere, we just violently made out for like three hours straight. And it became a daily thing. So you're saying you took advantage of an autistic girl? You're... I'm just not... Bro, what? You're 11. 11. Now, why is that even on your mind, bro? How did you... Like, what events led up to that situation, bro? Like, what, what happened? I'm really, like... 
I can't. I'm not even trying to picture that in my head right now. This is so crazy, bro. I don't even. The only people I know that play soccer. No way. There's no way. I, plus, I did. No. There's no way it's him. But anyway, man, if y'all enjoyed this video, bro, and want me to do some more of these, man, go ahead, comment, like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy Dime for your cool uploads. And uh, yeah, man, that's it. God bless. Peace out. 100. Bow. Ha ha. Yes, sir.